Hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from TechFans. So a few days back, we have installed the Aero OS 13 on our Realme Pad. So in this video, we will see the uh, quick review of it, whether you can go ahead and install it. So let's get started. So first we will start with the build details. So build detail wise, this is Arrow OS 13 and currently running on uh, on top of Android 13. And we have the security patch is uh, 5th September uh, 2022. The kernel is 4.14. And this one comes with the G apps. Earlier we were having two different type of build number, uh, device codes, but currently it is RMP6768, which works both in Wi-Fi model and the LTE version. This we have uh, discussed in the installation video. So just remember. So now we will look at the boot animation. So boot animation is a little bit uh, looks old, I believe. So after that one Android logo will come. It is pure uh, AOSP's Android logo. Uh, boot animation after that we will see the arrow one so this one i don't like uh, but this arrow this one is actually good it has some glitches in before but uh, this is fine in for my in my opinion so yeah also the uh, this one also fast so booting also really really fast as you can see so that is a great thing to do so now we will see the uh, stability stability wise it is actually uh, great that is the only big advantage that we have over our previous aero 13 so here if i go to youtube and if i if i scroll this the scrolling is really really smooth i have uh, i was using this uh, youtube for uh, last few days and i didn't face any issue in terms of uh lagness or something also here also we earlier we had an issue with uh scrolling the play store is uh not smooth but here as you can see here also it is uh smooth and it's working perfectly fine in my opinion so that is a really really good thing in my opinion i have to really appreciate for the stability and other stuffs so it is actually great also uh, it has a double tap to wake up feature so here if i double tap it will close and it will open again which is uh, reliable and i no need to click uh, the power button each and every time we don't have the face unlock but uh, yeah that is a uh, point to mention there is a new option inside uh, this one uh, in realme settings so here in future they may add um, much more but currently we have a double tap to wake up and the sorry enable usb otg in earlier when we are playing the uh, 2k 60 fps video we had some issues but now um, but now playing 2k uh, 60 fps video is uh, like a piece of cake which is working really really great in my opinion earlier we were having some glitches here also some glitches are there but only for two seconds after that uh, it will just uh, get into the uh, normal uh, place so yeah playing video watching content it's really really good in this um, exact build so also uh, as it is a aosp one google also using the aosp and stock room and uh, on top of that they are building it we are you are able to get the same look of uh, pixel uh, tablet so here i have downloaded one wallpaper from the 4k wallpapers and i have downloaded this widget from the android world uh, weather widget uh, from the play store and these are all part of uh, the rom itself aosp clock so i just got this uh, same look of the pixel uh, tablet also this one looks actually great in uh, getting it android 13 so yeah i would suggest you can go ahead and install it uh, if you don't have any issue or else so now we will talk about the features so feature wise first and foremost the feature itself is the android version update so we are having the android 13 we will get most of the google features that we have like this uh, clock and uh, different options and when i was speaking to one of the viewers he said that there is an option to connect the hearing aid in this one he said it is useful and they just implemented from the android 13 so these kind of options we will get which uh, android tried to google tried to update 
it we don't get exact uh, google pixel options and all but we have uh, pretty much uh, rec most needed uh, features in this one the photos recognize this as a pixel device you can uh, you can store the unlimited uh, photos uh, with no charges that is actually a great thing also uh, there are option to un unlock the high fps so here uh, i have uh, tried with the uh, battleground india uh, you can enable that uh, ultra frame rate in the uh, normal or hd settings so that is great also uh, the one uh, key feature that that i use most is the uh, multi window so here as you can see uh, you can just uh, click here and uh, split right and then you can uh, click uh, this one and it will automatically work uh, like a charm also the good part is it will just store this uh, window so whenever you go back and all uh, you can directly uh, play both the uh, open both the applications side by side and uh, it will be helpful uh, to uh, if you are productively using for some note taking or uh, some other features like video editing or photo editing or something it will be really really useful so that is uh, good to know uh, there are some uh, few more features like uh, dimming the um, what i would say dimming the uh, display and uh, caffeine mode, focus mode. So these are some of the AOSP features that we get uh, additionally. I liked this nav bar uh, style in the right side. So if you don't like, you can go ahead to the system and you can change it to the uh, gestures, which uh, works uh, pretty much uh, fine. In uh, So as you can see, um, This also works uh, fine and yeah. So let's talk about the performance. So performance wise, it is uh, I, I feel it is same as the Arrow OS, but we here we have the improved stability and the smoothness. And uh, I have uh, I have uh, run pretty much uh, most of the step uh, test that we require. Uh, first test is that I have run is uh, the Geekbench. The Geekbench score is not uh, that uh, uh, impressive. Here we are getting 326 and the uh, multi core is 1163 earlier in uh, era os 12 we got uh, somewhere like 377 which is uh, somewhat um, 51 point less uh, and the multi core is 1332 uh, here we have a 1163 which is seems less but if may um, if i have uh, run it again it may increase or something but you get the point of what i am trying to tell and when i was uh, I, after that i have uh, run the cpu throttling test and it is a 15 minutes test and uh, let me open the states for you so here is the states so uh it is uh, as i show it's uh, 15 minutes you are uh, here there is a, a slight uh, slight drop in the performance it went uh, nearly below 60 so there are some application uh, it's a vita application so which just uh, pushed some notification when i was running this so when the put notification happened in the background the performance suddenly got uh, decreased but again in just a few seconds it just got back to that same level uh, the good part is it didn't even go below the 80 percentage and it tried to maintain uh, the same uh, peak performance also when i was running this test i have constantly checking the backside touching it everything and i didn't feel any heating issue or something uh, it is more cool and it's more stable and there are some warm uh, it is a little bit warm in the back but it is uh, it, people won't even notice uh, uh, that kind of uh, changes so yeah and after that i have uh, run the camera i have checked the camera to prop which is same like arrow as we have the full access and and the drm testing it shows the security level as l1 so which is good to have uh, like earlier and then we have the uh, net monster which we will come later and i have also tested the safety net uh, which passes by default 
I also have uh, installed the uh, HDFC app uh, to check it. Uh, so if you open it, um, it is selling security threat test detected. It is because I have enabled the USB debugging. So I can just go ahead and uh, turn it off. Um, so here I can turn the USB debugging off. And now uh, if I open the HDFC app, it will work. So yeah. And uh, other things about the security, this build is uh, fully encrypted. So installing uh, the, some other packages are a little bit difficult. You need to format the data. Also, we still don't have the uh, recovery that uh, uh, unencrypt the storage. So yeah, that is the thing to mention. And I also have installed the Zoom and Meet app, which uh, somewhat uh, fine, I believe. Also, the calls and the messaging and all working. So, Volt is working. So, I also have received calls and messages when I keeping the SIM card in this one. So, that's pretty much about the uh, things that I want to uh, inform you about this uh, build. Uh, so, what else is uh, having an issue? Well, now we will see about the bugs and the problems that we have with this build. So, the first thing that I have to uh, mention it as a, some issue or something is the... Um, the Geekbench score, which is 70, this one. So, uh, 50 points less in single core uh, which is somewhat fine I believe so just mentioning it in the this one because it doesn't have much bug so I already told you it's more stable build second we don't have much features also we don't even have the network monitor indicator which we had it in 12.1 so that is a uh, that is uh, one of the thing that you need to um, uh, know it uh, third thing is the battery saver so battery saver when people is uh, turning on the battery saver um, it is just I don't even I never used the battery saver so uh, after some people have uh, such a mentioned in the group community and uh, channel they I have tried it so when I use the uh, battery saver uh, the internet and all it's connected fine but uh, the device uh, won't even uh, here uh, uh, the internet won't even work so yeah that is uh, uh, that is uh, that is the uh, one of the problem uh, so if you are using battery uh, saver option this may restrict the internet but the good part is uh, yeah no, it's not a good part so yeah so you can just uh, uh, disable the battery saver which will again enable the internet back and the fourth thing uh, that I feel important is the, uh, uh, I would say, carrier aggregation. So I have, uh, as I shown, I have installed the NENPASTER and I was continuously testing whether uh, whether uh, uh, the device is pulling the secondary network, by secondary band, uh, but it's just uh, sticking with only one single band, even though when I um, uh, test a few things like uh, a speed test. So so here i'll run the speed test and yeah the speed is uh, fine but it's uh, when compared to this a11 uh, it will be slower in this one if you are using wi-fi or something that would be fine but uh, it uh, it definitely affects the your internet experience so that i have to mention it and then uh, this is a uh, weird a little bit but uh, I recently bought this MI TV stick and I was trying the uh, Chromecast um, in my other uh, devices the Chromecast worked perfectly uh, and when I try to here here it is showing it is connected but when I check it in the uh, television um, it is just blank so uh, that is uh, one of the thing but uh, uh, I am unable to entirely cast my screen maybe because uh, this is uh, 2k display or something and that is 1080p uh, but uh, uh, I am able to uh, cast the uh, uh, YouTube videos and other stuff so so here I can select this cast and I can uh, click on it you can see it is successfully connected so 
from here i can pass the video and other stuff so entire screen sharing is not happening but uh, i would say in the youtube and other some things the casting is happening uh, somehow fine so yeah that's what about uh, my uh, takeaway on this one i am going to stick with this uh, android 13 uh, one for uh, until the next update comes so i would recommend the same to you you can go ahead and install it if you have already unlocked and doing the stuff somewhere. but if you already fixed with your android 11 and still having the locked bootloader and all and you don't want to get into trouble or something you better uh, please uh, avoid from avoid uh, the routing and other process routing and stuff is not for everyone so if you feel if you are using it for a primary device or you have some important data and other stuffs you don't know exactly how to and you don't know how to exactly back up the things and all better you just stick with the your current a11 that would be fine you may get the android world sooner or later so yeah that's what about this video thank you for watching Quote